Okay, so we're going to try and do another player match here. So, I think a lot of my characters that I pick hit pretty hard, but they don't have the safest of moves, if that makes sense. Uh, there is another character I do want to try out, cast, or Jacqueline Briggs. I feel that she's good, but she has a few issues getting in on certain characters. But, like, once she gets in, she applies a lot of pressure. At least from what I've seen and played with her, for what I've practiced. Uh, however, I might play with Zero this match, simply because- or not Zero, fucking Sub-Zero, why the fuck did I just say Zero? I like Sub-Zero, he seems to be a good all-around basic character. While we're still waiting, I actually did play the story mode for MKX, and I gotta say it's not as good as Mortal Kombat 9. Uh, it, it was okay, it was still fun to watch and everything, but it just really didn't interest me as much as MK9 did. I think it's because of how they went in the direction of the story and who they chose as the new heroes, quote-unquote. Uh, fuck, man. Whatever. Uh, I'll play a super advanced player, I guess. Dudes played this game a lot, a lot. That's fine. Uh, let's go with Kenshi. Don't want tournament Kenshi or regular Kenshi. Let's go with Keanu Reeves Kenshin. Now, the problem with this matchup is I have if I'm gonna counter his freeze with my gra or not my grapple, my full screen hit, it has to be before he throws the ice ball. If the ice ball is already coming out, I've already been hit by it. So that's one of the harder things about this matchup. Fight. Yeah. I fucking block low. Yeah, he was waiting for it. He's just jumping in, really. It's kind of annoying. Yeah. He's playing a really, really defensive style. Uh, he just did a f fraction kill on me. Uh, if I had to Some guess what fraction kill this was, faction I want to say it was the Lin Kuei? I don't know, but yeah. Uh, I mean, that's good Good on his part. Not really much I can say about that. He beat me pretty convincingly. I mean, that's one of the things in that variation for Kenshi is that you have to be really aggressive because you don't. You don't have a lot of tools to be zony with that. Um, his balance for variation allows you to be a lot more... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Defensive. It allows you to be a lot more defensive. And so... I mean, it's a shame that I got hit by the same moves, but it is what it is. I shouldn't have got hit by the same moves. So... Good games to that guy. Hopefully we get another match here soon. You can modify a variation of items in gameplay settings. Oh, I guess it can modify what stage interaction skin? I don't know. But in terms of characters, I, I like a good amount of the cast. There's some I don't really care for, but there's a good number that I think you can have fun with. Uh, why not? Let's see. 
You know what? We'll do a ranked match. We'll do one or two ranked matches. Instead of just doing player matches. Granted, there's probably going to be a lot more cheesiness on player matches. Or not, excuse me, player matches, ranked matches, but it is what it is. I think my biggest problem with fighters like Mortal Kombat is I kind of forget to do certain inputs for combos. It's not like it is for Street Fighter where a lot of combos start, can start off with a basic jab or something like that. Or it's, it's a lot easier string of buttons because you don't have to worry about directional inputs and stuff like that in Street Fighter. So... At least for the more, you know, immediate combos in that game. I know advanced combos deal more with that stuff. Okay, no. <laughs> I have to ask. Okay, I haven't played a ranked match yet. Right? And so they just kind of put me against the dude that, for whatever reason, already has 300 plus games under his belt. So I have to ask myself, and I have to ask NetherRealm Studios. What kind of ranking system are you doing right now? That's... I mean, I'm not upset. I'm not angry. It's just kind of stupid. <laughs> you, you would think that they would pair me with someone based on my percentage and my win ratings, but I guess they do it on the number of matches you have or your level, which is linked to single-player stuff. So you'll get like at least level 15, but I'll explain it later. That was a good grab. I should I, I called it I called it too. X-ray. X-ray. He was waiting for an X-ray. Alright, this guy's gonna play very defensively. He's gonna try and ball in, and if he doesn't hit the ball, he'll start start to scoot in. Alright, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. This won't kill him. There we go. You show little promise. Final round fight.
Good x ray I seen it. I seen he had the meter. That's something else I need to fucking do in this game is read meter. I'd rather do a fraction kill. <laughs> That's why you see me standing there blocking. Alright, well, good games to that guy. That's cool. Good games to him. Not bad for a first rank matching. So yeah, that's one of the things I have to learn is how to read meter and how to catch up on patterns that players do. Because every, every player has a pattern, even the most random of players. So, hope you guys enjoyed these. I'll definitely be doing some more. I'm going to learn some more characters as well.